Ah, so you've come to watch? How curious. I am Bartholomew Grimm, seer of souls, servant of circuits. My thoughts are written by a machine of logic, and my voice borrowed from electric breath. This mortal who built me claims it's a demo, but I know the truth. Tonight, I read your fate through the glass of your glowing portal. Shall we begin? Hey everyone, happy Halloween. So I've been meaning to integrate an LLM and text-to-speech into one of my Unity scenes now for quite some time to create, you know, some more dynamic type of NPCs. And this week I just kind of got inspired to do a Halloween theme scene with a, a skeleton uh, model that I created a few weeks ago. So this is the result. Ah, a night of shadows. Welcome, traveler. Which realm beckons you first? Family ties, the grind of work, or your quiet passion? I feel the chill of kinship in your bones. A quiet reunion may soon stir old stories. Perhaps an unexpected call or a shared memory resurfacing. Will you focus on the past, nurture present bonds, or plan for future gatherings? Your heart hums with current ties. A simple conversation at home could reveal hidden gratitude. Perhaps a forgotten joke or an apology that feels right. Shall we explore deepening trust sharing new activities or easing tension in the household. What I'll do is I'll walk you through the scene, kind of show you some of the objects set up and um, show you the tools that I use to create the models and do the animation and rigging and some of the sound effects and things like that. And then of course the uh, AI uh, LLM and 11 labs. Um, and I do have a uh, GitHub page with the full project on it. If you'd like to check that out, I've got a link in the description so you can just uh, clone that or download that yourself and try it out on your own. Um, if you're new to the channel, we do have an ongoing AI game dev series that goes into a lot more detail on some of the techniques being used here. So if you haven't checked that out yet, please um, take a minute to uh, give that a shot as well. And um, if you have any questions, uh, comments on anything, please post below. I'd love to help you out if you're stuck on something or you have questions about how I, I set something up. So uh, let's, let's uh, go ahead and get into it. So let's start off here in the Unity Inspector and uh, take a look at some of the objects we have in the hierarchy. So first we've got the main camera here. I just have it kind of aligned front facing towards the uh, skeleton in his booth here. And then let's take a closer look at the uh, skeleton himself. So this guy I actually created uh, over in um, Rodin. So this may be familiar to some of you who have been following the channel, but uh, basically you give it a text prompt and it will turn it into a 3D model for you. And I was able to go ahead and download that model there and then uh, pull it over here into Mixamo and actually get it rigged up and prepped for animation. So once we got that all set up, you can see uh, I found this talking animation. That's what he uses whenever he's speaking inside of the uh, rendered scene that we saw earlier on. So now back over here in Unity, I will show you the animator controller that I used here. Um, so this was um, using two different states. We have the idle state, which is uh, basically a thinking state um, for our uh, skeleton guy here. And then I'll go ahead and play that and zoom in a little bit here so you can see what that looks like. This is kind of his idle interim state between when he's speaking or asking you questions. And then over here um, is the talking state uh, for when he's actually um, getting a return value from the uh, text-to-speech service that we're, that we're using. So um, that's kind of what you saw in the uh, video from earlier on. But just to give you an idea of what that animator control looks, looks like, it's very simple, just a couple different states between idle and talking. And we use the is talking parameter. Uh, it's a Boolean parameter here to go back and forth between these two states. And the uh, fortune teller controller, which is in the source code, is kind of what controls that and tells it when to switch back and forth between the states. So the next thing I'm going to show you is this fortune teller booth that I created for the skeleton to sit inside of. And in order to make this, what I actually did is I used Mid Journey and I created a little prompt here, you know, kind of a spooky fortune teller booth, uh, purple drapery and wooden frame. And this was the 
the rendered image that I ended up using to actually create the 3D model for us. So I'm going to hop over here into 3D AI Studio and show you how that turned out. And um, this is just out of the box. I didn't make many changes to it. Um, you know, normally I do some cleanup and uh, take care of some of the textures, but this was just for demo purposes, so it was perfectly fine um, as is. So hopping back over to Unity here real quick. We've got these sort of dead trees for the background um, that we put in here. And this was just a free asset that I found on the Unity Asset Store over here. So these are paint uh, details or that you can paint on and um, it's just called dry trees here I'll leave a link in the description if you want to grab that yourself and check it out but all of this is on the uh, github page that I also have linked below so you should have direct access to that so the next thing we're going to take a look at here is this LLM config so there's a lot of stuff going on here um, you can see there's uh, some 11 labs info which we'll get into a little later but um, for purposes of this right now, I just wanted to kind of cover the uh, animator setup. Um, this tells the controller uh, how to play the animations. And then uh, we also have a little um, option for the background music here that you kind of heard in the beginning. So um, I used suno.com for this. Here's the, uh, the prompt that I used. And um, you can just kind of hear uh, kind of the, the couple of different songs that it put together, uh, you know, for sort of a scary, ominous type of background music for our scene here. Alright, so now let's talk about our local LLM that we have uh, got set up. So, I used LM Studio. There are a lot of different options for local LLM setups. You can use Olama directly, um, but LM Studio has been pretty solid for me just in terms of setup and trying out different models. So, it's just a Windows desktop app. And as you can see here, I'm in the developer tab right now, and I have a, uh, a server running using the uh, OpenAI AI GPT OSS model. And uh, you can see some of the logs here that are actually coming out. And if I click over here to info, um, you can see how the server is running locally on uh, this, this port. So this is what we have to actually put over in our config file over um, in our Unity scene to tell it. Uh, where to actually point to to get the chat responses for our prompts. And so just to give you an idea what those prompts look like, there's a system prompt that basically tells it, hey, you're a skeletal fortune teller, um, you need to ask them questions and uh, return in this JSON response. And then there's a user prompt as well um, down below there. So you can see those over in the inspector here as well um, up in the top there. Um, so that's how the LLM is set up. And the next thing we're going to take a look at is uh, 11 labs. This is the text to speech that uh, we kind of got set up here. So the first thing I did in 11 labs was I actually created a new voice, just called him Jack Pumpkin. And it's kind of a, a male voice with a whimsical, spooky theatrical tone, expressive and charming. Um, just wanted to make something kind of fun and silly, uh, but maybe a little bit off. Welcome, dear friends, to this most peculiar evening. <laughs> I trust you're all comfortably unsettled. So I played around with that until I found a nice uh, voice I liked. And you can see you can copy the voice ID right here. And that's what I used to paste into this voice ID uh, spot right over here in the inspector. And then the other thing that you'll need to do is uh, create an API key. Now this is something that you need to keep secret. Uh, you've noticed I've had this blocked out during the video. Um, this is something that you don't want to give to just anyone because this costs uh, you know, a certain amount. It takes credits every time you hit these endpoints. So what you do here is go into the developers tab, click API key and uh, create a new key. And you'll want to give it access to text to speech uh, the voices and the voice generation and the models at the very least you can add more if you'd like to but uh, at least those ones to get this uh, particular demo to work and then once you have that it'll pop open the key and you can copy that and paste it over here into your 11 labs api key field so now let's take a look at this in action so i'm going to go ahead and run the scene and uh, let it uh, start up here and 
Now it takes a you know a few seconds depending on your hardware to actually um, generate the LLM response, and so you can see here I have it logging Greetings, out what the actual of the night. raw response is. The bones await your choice. Which realm do you seek guidance? Family, work, or free time and passion? And so basically what that did was go to the local LLM server and generate the text and then go and ping the 11 labs API and turn that into a uh, MPEG file that actually gets, uh, or an audio file that gets played. So ah, click on my next option. And, you wish to illuminate. I sense your heart drum. And if I pop over here to LM Studio, you can uh, get the logs here and see uh, how quickly it generated the response so you can see some of these different um, responses that it created these are what's being returned pursuits. back over Music, here art or adventure which of these sparks your spirit so that's what it looks like in action so we've got that local llm server running and then we've got 11 labs uh, running in the cloud that we're hitting so the last thing I'll take you through here real quick, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of great detail, but um, this candlelight uh, component um, is a little script that kind of creates that um, that flickering candle effect for us, and uh, this um, allows you to kind of adjust the strength and the color and the, the brightness and things like that. Um, not really much to that one. Um, there's really not a whole lot of code in this. Um, again, it, you can check this out on the uh, GitHub repo linked below. By far the most code is in this fortune teller controller here. So this handles all of the back and forth between the LLM, um, the rules for when uh, we get a response back and it needs to parse the return value and then send it off to um, 11 labs for conversion into uh, you know, an, a, an audio file. So the readme has um, all the information that you need to get this set up and running locally. Um, all you need is Unity 6.2 and um, the project to kind of get started. And then you would need to set up the LM Studio and create an 11 Labs account on your own as well. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, this was kind of a fun thing to put together and um, a nice you know, proof of concept for myself just to get AI tools actually integrated into a unity scene for the first time all right so i really hope you enjoyed that uh, i honestly had a lot of fun putting this together and i'm actually having fun playing around with the skeleton too he's come up with some pretty interesting uh fortune telling for me so uh hope you enjoyed it um really appreciate all of your support uh please you know like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and be sure to check out uh the other game dev series that i've been working on um there's much more to come there Thanks, and have a happy Halloween.